Good morning, and welcome to episode 14 of Storytime with Miss O'Donnell. Um, Grisabella was just checking out the flowers that my daughter just put there. Beautiful lilacs coming in bloom. Uh, fizzy, I got Grizzy and Fizzy here to join us. Today's story is Fritz and the Beautiful Horses, um, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Now, some of you know that Jan Brett lives in Massachusetts, so she's a Massachusetts author and illustrator. This is one of the few books that Jan Brett has illustrated that doesn't have the borders around it like most of her books do. Um, they tend to um, foreshadow what's going to happen on the next page and what happened on the page before in her borders. Um, this one doesn't have borders, but it has gorgeous illustrations. This book is um, autographed by Jan Brett in 1996 when my daughter Emily was six years old. And I put in a picture of my uh, pony, actually Emily's pony. This is Pegasus that we had. Um, and uh, she's a halflinger pony, and she looks very much like Fritz in the story. So I'm going to read uh, Fritz and the Beautiful Horses to you. Once there was a walled city known for its beautiful horses. There were magnificent jumpers, splendid chargers, and elegant parade horses. The citizens were so proud of these horses that it was decreed that only the most beautiful would be allowed in the city. All others would have to stay outside. One of these was a pony named Fritz. Fritz was not beautiful. He had a long, tangled mane, whiskers on his muzzle, and short legs. But Fritz was very gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. Look at him rolling in the grass there. Day after day, Fritz watched the beautiful horses. Some had braided manes and tails and carried lovely ladies. Others had glossy coats and pulled grand carriages. Most of all, he watched the children's horses. I wonder why the children look so frightened, he thought. The children were afraid. They didn't like their horses prancing and leaping. It made them very difficult to ride. Pages are very difficult to turn. As Fritz watched, he thought, I would like a child to ride me. But no one ever noticed Fritz. One day, he climbed up to the road leading to the walled city. He tried to take long, graceful strides. He pranced and curved his neck. He threw his tail into the air. The citizens stared at Fritz, and then they began to laugh. Look at that silly horse, they said. Then the lovely ladies and the magnificent gentlemen galloped away toward the walled city. The children followed reluctantly behind. I guess I do look silly, thought Fritz, and he hung his head in despair. Fritz listened to the citizens as they galloped their horses faster and faster. He heard their loud cheers as they rode onto the bridge to the walled city. All of a sudden, he heard a loud snap. The bridge was breaking under the weight of the horses' pounding hooves. Fritz saw a large crack appear in the middle of the bridge. The citizens were on one side, and the children were on the other. You'll have to cross through the river, cried the citizens. But the children wouldn't move. My horse might shy and buck, said one. My horse might leap and stumble, said another. We might fall off, they all cried together. 
Stay where you are, shouted the citizens. We will come and get you. But their horses wouldn't move. This hill is much too steep, thought one horse. My lovely mane might get tangled in the bushes, thought another. We certainly don't want to get wet, all of the horses agreed. Everyone wondered what to do. Then they noticed Fritz. Fritz carefully climbed to where the children waited. Look at how he's going across the stones. Very sure-footed. Fritz was not beautiful, but he was gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. The children were not afraid to ride him. One by one, Fritz carried the children carefully down the steep hill. He calmly stepped through the river from rock to rock and up the other side. He finally carried all the children to the walled city. A great cheer went up from the citizens. The lovely ladies cried, Hooray for the sure-footed pony! The gentleman said, How kind and dependable he is. And the children exclaimed, We didn't fall off. So Fritz was given a special place in the walled city. All the children cared for him and became his friends. From that day on, the walled city was known for its beautiful horses and its very dependable pony. The end. I hope you've enjoyed Fritz and the Beautiful Horses by Jan Brett. Um, I can tell that these two, I think, enjoyed it. They're both in sleep. Bye-bye for now.